And we're live. Welcome to another installment of Happy Hell Hour. Priest Vids. Descent into Avernus. We love to be here, don't we? What are we doing? What is this? Energy. Energy. Yes. Yes. We were just talking some hashtag business and... Uh, hashtag life uh, behind the scenes. You know how that goes. So that's, you know, we were... it was in the chat. I told her I was just teaching Pat how to hit the climb. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, here we are with our 37th session, which doesn't include a lost session here and there. Um, joining me, as always, is Josh Bingaman. Yo, what up? It's me. Pat Edwards. Hi, all my buddies. Never said that in a while. <laughs> and Brett Eagleson. I'm, I'm and I wait no that's your line damn it I've become the pat oh I'm uh, sorry on our, on, our, on our podcast pat always goes in I'm pat and that was my impression of you going, hey, yeah, I'm pat this is how I talk on the podcast uncanny do we have there's two me's damn uh, <laughs> four swords if I, if I close four my swords. eyes I can't tell <laughs> Sometimes That's what two sort of dreams about. Everyone <laughs> but Tim going. is quiet, says chat. Tim, volumize us. I did it. Looks like whatever Tim did fixed it. Yeah, every okay. now and again, um, Chrome gets sent to set to 10% uh, volume. Don't know why. Don't know why mm. that happens, but sometimes it happens. So, got to go in and that fix was a, it. it. I'm embarrassed to admit. I mean, it was a while ago, but not too long ago when I realized you, there's like the volume mixer and you can change the respective volumes of the yeah. different programs for like the chat thing, like discord or chrome or something whatever you're doing and i was like this is a game changer yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's helpful for when it's just something weird is happening but um generally i like everything to be equal um since uh, the the three of you have different volumes which is normal and i'm, I'm obviously oftentimes loud but um yeah uh, no Kim today, uh, uh, but we are so happy that all of you in Twitch are here. Um, we are giving away a copy of Space Tripping to hashtag space and chat to get oh, yeah. a, a, a copy of that from Pat. Oh. Pat, tell tell the folks in case some of the, the new people. I am Pat. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm Brett on the chat apparently. What? It got switched? Uh, yeah, Brett is Josh. You're Josh Brett. is me. I am Brett. You don't want me to be Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <him. laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I was going to actually, it's funny you said that, Tim, because I was going to do it as a joke because I'm such a shill of being mm -hmm. like, I don't know if you all know this, but I wrote a book. <laughs> but, uh, what? <laughs> no, thank you. Um, but in case anyone this doesn't know, yes. to me. Uh, anyone doesn't know, yes, my I am a writer and author. That is my profession um this is my first novel space tripping came out a few years ago it won the nerdist sponsored space opera contest um the sequel is in production and so far covid hasn't fucked that up too bad and we're targeting possibly holidays of this year release on that uh i also co-wrote a 5e campaign that's going to kickstarter september 1st called the red opera and Brett and I have another little secret project in the works. That... Pat, I asked you to describe space tripping. Oh, space tripping is drunk <laughs> aliens. Drunk aliens who get drunk and say fuck a lot. Gotcha. It's just it's, fun alien shenanigans. Yeah. Well, they don't say fuck a lot. They say foob a lot. They say uh, both. It's just whatever it feels right for the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, you guys want to see a cool, a cool miracle of the technologies sure. today? I'm, br yeah. I'm bringing a, I'm bringing a new technology to the group. Yeah. Uh, in which, in which I try to do a cooler, better chum voice. Uh, oh no! And it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> oh my god! I love it. Okay. <laughs> yes! 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 Um. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, but, let's go around and introduce our characters. Uh, I'm playing everyone. Uh, what about you guys? Uh, I am playing... Chum the Undying. Bawamba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
blood. I am I'm a, I'm a half work on a quest to dispel uh, a curse that has fallen upon me. I love it. Josh, I'll rock paper scissors you to see who has to follow that. <laughs> no, you're choking on a cookie. I'll go. Um, <laughs> I'll play two swords. McTavish. We forget he has a last name, but he does, and it's McTavish. Uh, Red Dragonborn fighter. He fights with two swords. That's why people call him two swords. Proud Red Scale. Um, and his quick addendum, what's really fun is if you see the way I look right now, and if you get this book, or you can buy it online, you can see how I used to look before having two kids. <laughs> Clean shaven and a full head of hair. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Now you look more like Chum, actually. <laughs> That's true. Is it my turn now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I am playing Nash Satinjaw. He is a wild hunt shifter uh, based on hyenas. Um, so I have like cool hyena ears and teeth. And don't forget that um, silent G, motherfuckers. Never forget the G. It is so important to remember the G. Um, and I'm a warlock, a hexblade warlock. I fight with the halberd. And I like to jump and dive. We got a lot of blades in this group. Yeah. Blades and knives and swords. Yeah. This is a very... Uh, it's an easy uh, step, everybody. We all the sharp fang. Blades. We're fang oh, gang. That's right, fang gang. Yeah. Could be blade gang, too. Blade gang. All, yeah. yeah. Because Karloff is good at stabbing ass whale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, two swords. <laughs> what What's happened? an ass whale? Ass whale. <laughs> two swords. What happened last week on Happy Hallower Presents Descent into Everness? Thanks for asking, Tim. Uh, dear Diary, how are you? Me? I'm great. Like, for real, I'm pretty good, Diary. We had ourselves a nice day at that there wandering emporium. Did a little shopping. I, uh... Found myself suddenly healed and all my nicks and cuts bandaged up, but I uh, can't remember how it happened. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so then we had a real nice day at the spa, really pampered ourselves, ate a good supper. And then we went back to Red Roost so she could get her own spa day. And wouldn't you know it, didn't take long before some giant awful tree monstrosities started bearing down on us. A nice day in the market followed by a scrap. What a perfect day. All right, I gotta go. Bye bye, because we're gonna fight this thing now. I love you. Wait, are you? Do you love your diary? Yeah, I say it all the time. This is my best friend. Oh, great! I mean, Sim's gonna kill it. Oh fuck, Tim, don't destroy my diary. <laughs> okay. All right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Typing on the list like things Pat loves. No. <laughs> What, what, it, don't make me, what if I had to choose between the swords or the diary? I think I think I did. We did like a goof earlier about your diary kind of getting fucked up. Maybe like Tico saved it or something. Yeah. I don't remember. Um, Who? Tico, your friend of mine, <laughs> Tico. Um, just for actual recap, for the, the thing that two swords couldn't remember is a mysterious barber entity patched him up for free and was very nice in a weird, almost disconcerting way mm -hmm. to him, and then disappeared and erased all memory of his existence from our heads. Mm -hmm. Some kind of demon barber. Mm -hmm. Who's the same? A Fleet Street? That's a bottoming joke. LOL. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, at, at the end of uh, the session, you were, you, uh, you were outside Chum 2, and uh, you heard the ghastly, spooky voices calling you names, saying you fucking uh -huh. suck and shit like that. Uh, so you run in and you just hear, kush, kush, and then you just hear, right. all of you just hear like a uh, 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 whirlwind of whispers, just like reminding you of all your sins, all your failures, uh, pledging that this quest of yours will fail. Uh, you see images of your loved ones dead, your forest burnt, your favorite yogurt shop destroyed uh, due to too many other yogurt shops being eh. opened up and those o yogurt shops well they also go out of business except for the one that you hate the most that one's thriving so you're inside the hut uh what do you guys want to do i never have gummy well, bears always empty <laughs> gummy bears and froyo suck thank move on i will <laughs> that's the final word i'm the dungeon master you do not get to respond Brett. What you saying? <laughs> it's all about the mochi i fucking no love mochi. Br pat no <laughs> oh. i say i wasn't talking about froyo okay I'm talking about mochi <laughs> just don't mention gummies 
Um, all right, what are you guys doing? Well, so uh, we the th- the place we left off was I was setting up a uh, perimeter, mm-hmm. um, and depending on how much time we had uh, before it, the uh, them tree boys arrived, I'm I'm capping my uh, my bottle of endless spice water for sale now, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> um, I uh, was c- casting shape water, and I'm I'm f- basically freezing the la- the area of the water to create slippery ground uh because you can have an unlimited number of one type of effect and ice is one of those effects of shape water okay uh, mm-hmm. so and anyone uh, who wants one you can buy one of those spice water bottles from brett that is from a star wars podcast we were on where we played mercenaries who started a drug dealing multi-level marketing pyramid scheme yeah, I have no way to actually officially sell these, but DM me on on Twitter, uh, and, and I'm donating all the money to charity. They're like twenty five bucks. So really sick. Good. Um, all right, so you're making ice around the hut a little bit, is what you're saying to me? Uh, yeah, I wanna, I want the uh, not like it's not like from the door out. I was kind of just like setting up like a like an icy perimeter. So like if if an intruder came, they would go. Whoa! And like fall, and then we would we would have. Some oh, like you're home aloneing it, like you're like exactly, it like, exactly, uh, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. slick surface. Okay, um, so that was what Chum was doing. Sick. And you guys did. Well, isn't the thing like coming at us? I thought, or no? I thought you said you described it bursting through the trees. This big giant yeah. tree monster. Yeah, you're inside hut. Yeah. Tree, you see tree monster coming at you. What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I'll just kind of step up to the front of like the cave or the hut or whatever, and just mm-hmm. kind of. How far away would you say, Tim, in terms of feet? That's a great question. Um, I will tell you that. I know this info. Maybe. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I have something I can do. It's um. The uh, you can only see it um, through the brambles. It's probably about um, seventy-five feet away. Okay, and what's the range on lightning bolt? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a hundred feet, I believe. Okay, so if you guys remember, oh, wait, yeah, wait, this might be or no, are we in the initiative or wait? What are we doing here? Uh, no, I mean you can start the initiative if you fucking throw an attack I mean, out. I'll try and before I do anything, I'll I'll wave and be like, "Hey, brother, uh, you looking for a scrap, or you want to be like friends, or you want to fight? <laughs> like, what pick? What what, what you what you feeling? All right, as flavor? as you step out of the hut, to, I mean, I'm like right in the doorway. All right, as you're right in the doorway of the hut, peeking your little snoot out, you see the spectral shapes. Uh, kind of swirl around some of the brambles. Uh, give me a perception check, please. Okie dokie. You got this. Uh, yeah, that's a six. Damn. Okay, cool. Awesome. You saved me some work. Um, <laughs> give me a dexterity saving throw, please. Cool, love to. That's a seven. I fail. Jesus. All right, you take... Oh, okay. Fifty. <laughs> All right, you take. I'm gonna give you a choice. We're, we're oh, I'm gonna we're gonna do a little classic Dungeons and Dragons. Um, this is like the first ten minutes, Tim. What are you fucking with us with here? Uh, <laughs> you could lose an arm. Uh, or... what, what's happening? So I, I was trying to be like RP. I should have just attacked the fucking thing. Yeah, that's what you <laughs> always remember. No good ideas will be unpunished. Um, so this is a classic Dungeons and Dragons. Um, uh, multi-step battle um, in that you um, well, between me and you, friend, what the fuck's happening? Uh, you want to make sure that you, the the um, the Red Ruth's health isn't destroyed. I'll give two swords a choice. You see a, 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 a gnarly hunk of tree flying at you. You either mm-hmm. A dodge and um, 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 take half damage, but oh, the, like a big, like big, 
gnarled spiny log has been hurled through the air at me. Yes. And okay. um, uh, it's sort of breaking a little bit from combat mechanics. And, and isn't that fun? Aren't I giving you a gift? Uh, yeah. uh, or, uh, so if you dodge, it's going to hit the house. And that will be one check uh, out of six for Red Ruth damage. And let's think that maybe Red Ruth would be happy with you guys if she comes back and sees death all around her and uh, the house good. Or you can uh, take the full hit. Oh. So I take full damage or partial damage and the house gets hit? Yes. Okay. You're a kind and benevolent DM, Tim, and I appreciate you. Um, I'll fucking take it on the chin. Sick. All right. You take 28 hit points as you were not Ooh. quite ready for combat, and your AC wasn't as good as it could have been. Um, our, all right. Let's roll initiative. My ouchies. Initiative. And now, and now you have I'll AC. That's a dirty 20, motherfuckers. It's a 20. Yay. Nash got a 21. Hi, Lucy. Do you like to sit on the bag? Do you love to sit on the bag? Are you a kitty? Yes, you are. <laughs> are you a kitty? Chum, for some reason, is compelled to say 11. <laughs> I got a 21. <laughs> oh. I should be writing this down. Um, Chum has a minus one to initiative. Is that a really great miasma still out there? Yeah, it's going to get here second round, I think. Shit. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, na- uh, 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 Chum, what was yours again? 11. My <coughs> asthma. Chum. All right, let's roll yes. for the secret things. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. What you hear? Don't like that. Okay, Nash, you see this giant hunk of... So, yeah, uh, two swords is in the opening of the door, of the, like, you know, it's probably like a real door, probably like a I slap or something. Just, just hold, like, boom. Yeah, so, like, the barrel t- chest, yeah. two swords... Kind of peeps his snoot out, and then he's, he's he says what he says, and then all of a sudden he gets smashed back as like a giant hunk of log hits him, and he kind of catches it, just gets a little bloody nose. His armor is all gunked up because there is like tree pus nuts <coughs> uh, on it. It's disgusting. It's it stinks in a very Pardon? weird way. <laughs> so uh, tree, yeah, really we just came it. from getting all bathed and. Pe- Oh man! I know, like you just right? that. DJ yeah, yeah. Armor. Gosh, uh, Nash, what's your passive perception? Uh, my passive perception is a thirteen. Wow, my passive investigation is higher than that. Holy shit! Let's see what happens here. Okay, uh, as you are readying to fight, you see three ghostly creatures. That seem to be um, whispering about uh, uh, all the failures you've done. There is a battle map for this area, but like, let me just show you something. Uh, Two sort of starts humming. Like, look how small this area is uh, compared. And here's like the tree, like I, I can't, I can't do... see shit. The way you have this, I just have like a cone. I have like a one and a half square cone. Of yeah, I'm the only one with dark vision. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I wow. I, I'm like moving around and I can kind of see it. Yeah. Oh, um, shit. What the fuck are we supposed to do in here? Yeah, so we're, it's, 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 this is what, this is where you are, but I think we kind of have to slightly theater the mind it because it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, so yeah, you kind of step out and yeah, it's chaotic around you. What with the brambles and stuff like that, it's the map is not God. Uh, so what do you do? You're probably about 30 feet away from, uh, where you sort of sense the, the ghosts and it looks like, uh, crashing through some of the brambles, um, is, uh, this giant undead tree, uh, probably about 60 feet away now. Damn. Okay. Um, let me see what this will do. Okay, lit. I'm going to uh, come up next to two swords. Am I like right next to him kind of thing? Sure. Two swords. I'm going to give you just a gentle, uh, just a gentle like 
friendly peck of a kiss, mm. and you have fly on you now. <gasps> so imagine Mask, cool show me ethereal. the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine you have cool ethereal dragon wings now. Um, <sighs> you can fly sixty feet for the duration. Um, just make sure you're not in the air at the end of ten minutes, otherwise you will uh, yeah. fall. Uh, yeah. And I will use my bonus action to Hexblade's Curse one of the uh, spirity things. You said there were three of them? There are three of them. Okay. Um, are they, like, in, am I seeing, like, invisible, or are they, like, they're just, like, in the shadows? Like, I can see them, but I can't see them. Yeah, so like, they're, they're kind of, like, moving in and out of the brambles, and so you're able to catch them every now and again. Um, and you think that you could attack them, uh, waiting at the right moment. Should okay, so I, Line of sight and stuff like that. Okay, so I would, I will target, uh, uh, Spirit A, or okay. whatever, with my Hexblade's Curse. Sick. We okay. Um, and that is my action and bonus action. Sick. Um, all right. What did I, why did I do that? I twin tie. Okay. Um, one of the ghosts that you hexbladed uh, flies up to you, Nash. Uh, it's kind of up in the air a little bit, and it looks down upon thee. And uh, is this broken? Uh, okay, I need the three of you to make a, a wisdom saving throw, please. I don't wisdom. want to. Mm -hmm. So good. I have a 17. Why can't everything be con or strength based? I also got a 17. Ah, sweet, 19. Okay, you're fine. Uh, as you see, sort of see this creeping, horrid, uh, uh, banshee-like, dead dryad um, creep out from the brambles, almost like bleeding out of it. Um, uh, you all kind of start quaking, and then you're like, no, I fought worse things. Let's do this, baby. Uh, and then it gets up to you, and the whispering stops completely for a moment. And then it just shrieks into all of your faces. Um... Yuck. Rude. All right. Make wow. a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, shit. Um, ha, 19 again. T Dirty 20. What's good, baby? 13. Ooh. You're, you're, fine. Give, you're all fine. Give me that meat to be. All right. <laughs> uh, you all take 10 psychic damage. Whoa, oh, no. It's That's a lot better. Than if you failed. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, uh, this could be a totally party wipe. I'm excited about this. All right, oh, shit. the next one. Uh, no, it ain't. <laughs> the next one flies up. I mean, th what is their initiative? I got a twenty. They got a twenty. <laughs> well, and I decide I am God. Um, <laughs> I didn't have to tell you that, but I did. I'm nice. Uh, okay, they. The next one flies up. Give me a wisdom saving throw. All right, that was, all of you. That was a twenty-two. Sick. Uh, thirteen. Sick. One. Oh, oh no! One, Patrick. No way. I mean, technically a two, but because okay. it's one plus one. But. Yeah. All right. So this one looks a little bit different. I'm Done. It kind of looks like an old uh, wood elf man with long uh, beard with weeping eyes. And it kind of just like stares at you, um, two swords, and it opens his eyes and just a thousand grubs and maggots fall onto your skin. And you are now frightened. Uh oh. You are, you're saying, ah, is what you're saying. I'm Damn. Not smart enough to be frightened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. Um, so this is going to be a weird. Ah! This is going to be a weird uh, battle because it's just going to be me throwing a whole bunch of status effects at you until you die. Um, let me look up what I always forget. What frightened does? I think you just can't do some stuff. Uh, but all of you make 
uh, the same idea as he's doing that. You look over, uh, it's, it's of this wood elf banshee just screaming in Two Swords' face. All of you, give me a constitution saving throw. What is this, Tim? I... Oh. I'm not going to hit any attacks this whole thing. I just got a 21. <laughs> well, I'm going to attack something yeah. we can get a 4. That's yeah. 11 this time around. Okay. 24. All right. Chum. <laughs> uh, Chum, how many hit points do you have? Enough, probably. Uh, 54 currently. Or t- max, because currently 54. Okay. Chum, you have zero hit points now. You fall to the ground. What? What the fuck? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Does that suck? You, what you hit me with? It's called Whale. The Banshee releases a mournful wail, provided right, that I'm doing. Uh, they are not in the sunlight. This whale has no effect on constructs or undead. All other creatures within 30 feet of her that can hear her must make a DC con saving throw. On a failure, a creature drops to zero hit points. On a success, a creature takes 10 hit points. Uh, so you two take uh, 10 more uh, HP. Uh, all right, hold on a sec. Hold on, I, know. I can do something it's, it's, about this. This sucks. I'm not happy about it. You just, you just gave me zero. You just killed me with, with one thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. Damn. If only there was like a feature. No, there is. I have, but there is. I'm You're trying to orc. decide which, which one to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, I do kind of like the stack of the idea of you fall to the ground, like, aha, get up and then take more 10 hit points. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is this, so is this actual damage or is it just like a, an effect? An effect. On a failure, a creature drops oh. to zero hit points. So we just see Chum. All yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> the face no. just... You know what? I don't though, because it's a restless endurance. So okay. I'm just not gonna, I, I ha- I'm still up. <laughs> okay, so what, what does that do? Uh, uh, re- restless endurance, because uh, tis, tis the orc way, the half orc way. Uh, I get instead of zero, I am at one HP, uh, and I, that was I just get to do that uh, once in a while. All right, so, yeah. I have, well, I have a, 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 I have a, a terrible news for you. Uh, oh no, the third <laughs> banshee. You in. fucking dude! <laughs> Come on now. Uh, this is... This is some. Um, you guys have you guys have figured out any time that I've thrown monsters at you per the book, um, and for this campaign, I'm mostly just doing the book is for science. For next campaign, when we do um, uh, uh, Frost Maidens, whatever it's called, I'm excited to actually sort of DM a little bit. Right now, I'm just running the encounters, baby. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you see a third um, uh, a banshee kind of float through the window. This is what looks to be a halfling carrying her own severed head uh, with, like, just mushrooms growing out of both of her stumps. I need every single one of you to make a DC 13 wisdom saving throw. I did. Got That's it. definitely yeah. more than that. That's a 13 for me. That's a 19. And now a con? And now a con as it screams. It sticks its undead mushroom face. 25. 13 again. 13. All right. You each take Fuck. 10 points of damage. Fuck. So what? I'm down again. Yeah, no, oh. I know. I feel bad. But I have 25. No, no, no. Because he went to one. He went to one HP. Because he but went to zero. But better time than now. <laughs> Wait, so how do we all take more damage? I'm confused. Because the, every time we pass the constitution saving throw, we take 10 damage. If we fail the constitution saving throw, we drop to zero. For fuck's sake. I know. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to attempt to make a charisma saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I have strength of the grave, and if I roll 15 or higher with my charisma of... If he, Plus two. I'm sure you have inspiration, so I would use that. All right. Da, 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 da. Everyone in chat. Uh, come chum. Chum. What? Chum. Well, yeah, why does chat want... Does chat want me dead? No. Chat, <laughs> chat, chat loves you. Chat wants you alive. Yeah. All right, all right. So, inspiration. 
It'd be really uh, fucking funny if you died in three sessions on a character that's a 15, you bud. intentionally Woo-hoo! built to be like unkillable. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. What does that? Uh, what does that look like? <laughs> uh, fuck! I'm gonna die. Uh, you're gonna. You're just gonna fucking murder right, the champion. Uh, so I got. Murder I got this here. thing. It's cool. It's called. That was uh, strength of the grave. Um, when damage that isn't radiant or from a critical hit reduces me to zero, I can make a charisma save, and instead, I'm I drop to one HP. So. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so uh, you're now in this little hut that probably mechanically is too small to have uh, <laughs> four of you, including a robot bear, uh, three flying um, uh, banshees screaming loudly. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we can have fun with it. Um, uh, uh, two swords. You're flying. Yeah. What's up? Um, and you're scared. Well, uh, I am scared. I think I'm going to do something that might seem a little in my frantic, cause I am, I think one of them I am afraid of too. I'm yeah, going to panic. I'm going to panic a little bit. I am going to two remember swords. Can something. Can I interrupt you? Did you yeah. roll with disadvantage on... Oh, that's a bill. Is it a Billy check? A saving throw? I always forget that. No. Yeah. A saving throw and no. Billy check are different. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. What? Yeah, ability check is like I try to climb. Saving yeah. throws. Yeah. Why would that disadvantage? Because you're frightened. Oh. Initiative is also an ability check. So the good thing is, what I want to do doesn't require me to roll anything because, <laughs> um, off my good deceased friend Beef, one of his last words to me was like, "Take my stuff." So we went through all this stuff and everything. You got the Jordans. Do- the Jordans, um, there were some wands in there. Okay, mm-hmm. now two swords didn't use wands because they're not swords. Mm-hmm. However, one looked really important, and one he gave to I think Nash has it. I have a staff of defense. Staff of defense, yeah. There was a wand of lightning that, if you look closely, now has a tiny little stick across it to make it into a tiny little sword because it's got a cross guard. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. Um. And he is going to take out that wand of light. Uh, are they in a line? Because we're all kind of clustered together. Um, odds or evens? Odds. Uh, two are in a line. One is not. Okay. Those two have to uh, kill What's spell save? Lightning bolt. I got to pull up here. Is a deck save. Deck Make save. a deck save. Deck save. Deck save. Boom. Boom. 12... It's my tiny magic sword. <laughs> uh, 12 and 15. Sweet. Uh, one of them fails. The other one just barely beats. And that that one is going to take a fuckload of damage. Where is it? All right. We'll say that uh, Dryad Spirit A, uh, who is Hexblade. Could it be the one that I'm afraid of? B uh, is what you're afraid of. Probably. I'm not. I'm it was not the very first one. No. Okay. Then, yeah, I guess. Oh my god. What are you doing? He's rolling your damage. Oh my god. Uh, thank you, Zephus, for the Twitch Prime. If anyone out there in, in Twitch land has Amazon Prime, you can link it to Twitch, get some free stuff, and also give us a little bit of cash as a way of thank you every month, and I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that one that failed takes 28 lightning damage. 28 lightning damage. Lightning damage. Okay. Shit. Uh, this is not in podcast form. I was going to do a podcast, and I decided not to. Uh, okay. Are they still going up on YouTube? The yeah, they're all on YouTube. So if you can just... Uh, the oh, last yeah. episode is not, but I believe I'm caught up since that. All right. So A and B take damage. Um, cool. <clears throat> cool, cool. Their, their form shimmers a little bit, and they uh, shriek at you. Uh, do you do anything else, my friend? Um, I will, yeah, well, no, what's a bonus action? What can I do for my bonus action? Sorry, I'm so used to just attacking three times. Um, <laughs> That's right. And then I have to look, what can I do with my bonus action when I'm not attacking? Uh, that's an action. Sorry, I'll know in two seconds. I just don't know if I can do, like, any bardy shit. Yeah. Um, I will just tell Nash that, uh, you ain't afraid of no ghosts, and Nash, you get a D6 Bardic Inspiration. 
I'll take it. So you can have it on your really what? Cool. All right. <sighs> oh boy, this is disgusting. Okay. Should have given this a chum because he needs it, but uh, in the heat of the moment. <laughs> I am right next to you, and I did just kiss you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you uh, feel the house shake, and some of the vials of you have no idea what, and you're not too sure what, fall to the ground. You have the the hut has s- sustained one damage as the treant threw <clears throat> another thing, and you hear it clomping closer. Um, okay. Uh, Chum Bawamba, you are up. There are three benches around you, and there is, uh, the, the clomping of a tree is getting closer. <sighs> All right. Um, that sucked, uh, Tim. <laughs> I know. Tim, that was so unchill. I know. God, th- some of the other things I could do right now also suck, but... All right, so we got ba- three banshees like on us. Uh huh. Yes, and 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 to outside. Uh huh. Yeah. Is there? Did I miss anybody? Is that just three in the three in the one? Three in the one. As that of we right know now. Of. Yeah, that we know of, right? Uh, okay, I'm gonna cast. Uh, hyp- hypnotic pattern. Uh, as a bonus action spell. Uh, mm-hmm. which I have some buttons to click for that. Um, but I create a twisting pattern of colors that weaves through the air inside a 30-foot cube within range. Uh, the pattern appears for a moment and vanishes. Each creature in the area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, uh, and, but I'm going to uh, exclude our, our party from that with extra clicking of, of the things. Um, and on a failed save, they become charmed for the duration. And while charmed, they are incap- incapacitated and have a speed of zero. Chum, the Undying, Bawamba. All three horrific immune. banshees. Are, oh, they might actually be immune. Let me look. You going to say they're immune to charm? Yeah, they're I, immune. I, I, they all rolled like of shit, a bitch. but they're immune. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so I do the thing, and then I look around and see nothing fucking happened. <sighs> <laughs> All right, well, let's use that one. Come on, cast a spell. At least our last day in Avernus was a good one. (laughs) I mean, I could burn the house down. No! (laughs) That's why you're here. Like, do y'all want the house or us? Because if it's the house, I might be willing to say, fuck it. (laughs) It would be kind of hilarious if you guys just dipped and were like, you know what? We paid two soul coins to find out where to go. What if we make an enemy of Red Ruth? Wouldn't that be a gift for a dungeon master? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, then, uh, I believe... Oh, fuck, dude. Um, she I'm knows gonna, where your Minotaur is. I'm going to go for self-preservation instead of damage here, because if I, if I stay in here, I don't think I'm going to make it out of the next turn. Uh, so I'm going to also cast... Where'd it go? Mirror image. Bloop. Uh, so now there's three of me. Uh, and then I'm going to step away from this fight. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just back. I'm just backing up. All right. Uh, Karloff uh, is like, Jump, which one are you? Give me a sign. <laughs> uh, well, I can't do that because then the enemies will know. <laughs> And, and the but one with that my said hand that. behind my back. <laughs> and the one that said that is the one that she targeted. <laughs> All right. She yeah, cast yeah. Uh, Cure Wounds on you at second level. Um, so you get... I can roll. Oh, that's good. You get um, 14 uh, hit points. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fake. Hooray. Um, and then she will. Um, <laughs> her. S- uh, her sword lights on fire, and then um, Bear uh, does a punch, and oh, yeah. um, I usually roll dog shit with Bear. So let's see how I do. 
Come through, dog shit. What up, what up? Um, oh, he hits. He punches one of the uh, Dryad Spirits in the face just to be <coughs> fun. Um, we're going to continue on with uh, Banshee A. Um, and they take... Ooh, goddamn. Almost no damage. <laughs> uh, yeah. You see Bear, like, hulk out and punch through it, look at his robot paws, and the Banshee sort of, like, shimmer for a second. Uh, and then... Um, uh, Nash, top of the round for you. You look oh. out the window, and you do see uh, a little bit of creeping in um, um, dog shit smog. Uh, can you make a DC 13... Saving throw. Constitution saving throw, please. Shit. You have a d6. I do. Do I want to use it now, or do I want to... Yeah, fuck it, I'll use it. Um... Fourteen. Alright, you're fine. Alright, what do you do? You got the three banshees in the hut... And the the big boy throwing shit at the house. <sighs> All right, Wig, I'm going to... We need some of that crazy teleport. Fuck shit up. <laughs> Don't mash. She... If you use that uh, teleport move in here, you will damage the house. Um, yeah. Which I think is hilarious. Can, you make a go Can y'all make a ghost out of them ghosts? <laughs> that is a good... Well, if they're humanoid, technically. Um, I'm going to shift myself real fast. As a bonus action, which is going to give me nine temporary hit points. Hell yeah, we take those. Um, then I'm going to target Banshee A with uh, strikes from my halberd. Okay. All right, attack number one is a 27 to hit. Hit. That is... Nine damage with that one. Okay. And it is a magic weapon in case that matters. It does. Um, the next one is a f 14 to hit. Hits. Oh, shit. Okay. 12 halberd uh, damage. Sick. Okay. Hold on. Add six because my Hexblade's Curse adds three damage to each damage roll. Okay. So that's nine plus twelve plus six. All right, you you carve a mad swath through this Banshee. It screams, screams, screams. Somehow, it's still up. Yikes! Um, okay. Is that all, friend? Um. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Sick. All right, uh, the Banshees look at all of you uh, um, and do a punch. Starting with Nash, uh, okay. uh, uh, 22 to hit your AC. That... I am doing math. Yes, that hits. Okay, you take nine necrotic damage. Uh, Chum, does a 13 hit your AC? We know it doesn't. Yeah, and... did they follow me? Oh, you're, you're right. <laughs> Uh, that probably would attack Karloff then, and Karloff's AC is actually very high. Uh, yeah, I'm the, I think I'm the lowest. Yeah, Karloff doesn't even get hit through her, like, shawl. Um, and then two swords. Does an eight hit your AC? <laughs> it does not. Yeah. Yeah. I know it seems like it should, but... It does not. You guys are gonna a new clean armor <laughs> cut off all its AC. You guys are going to be mad at me. I messed something up. Um, all right. Uh, uh, isn't that nice? Their first action sucks, but they can't do it again. Um, two swords. What's up, friend? All right. Uh, that was fun with the uh, my little lightning sword. That's what I call them. <laughs> um, put that away, and I'm still flying. I'm gonna swoop. So am I above that? Like, how is this? How are we I mean, doing I this? Am think I, like... you're still in the the hut. So you, I think you're. Yeah, you're I can't really have an, I haven't really had a chance to like because they're like all up on us, right? Yeah. So it's not yeah. like you. Yeah, you're not flying until you like make the at the choice to lift off the ground. Okay. There's probably like uh, a, a, a smoke vent uh, up top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am going to... I want to check one thing. And it's a 60 feet flight speed, so like you can fly yeah. 60. 
Yeah, so I am going to attack the one I injured before. I believe you said that was the Dryad one. They're all technically Dryads. But... Yeah. Oh. That's a... A. I think one. a. The one I injured before. And we're going to go Archibald. And that is a 17. Hits. Their AC is 12. Sweet. Do you want me to roll all of these or roll damage for each one first? Do each one first. Okay. Roll the damage first? Yes. Okay. It's pretty low. Uh, where's that dice? That is going to be a 10 slashing damage. Okay. Uh, one more time. And then... Sweet. Uh, I assume it 25 hits. It does. Uh, that's 11 slashing damage? No, it's 12 slashing damage. What does it look like when it dies? I just fucking cut right through the middle through its waist. Wait, and so then... Are you even allowed to attack this person? Oh, I just can't. You can't move closer to it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to... Is that the one I was afraid of? Yep. Yeah, you're no longer afraid. Uh, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid anymore. Hey, you hear that? <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> uh, and then I will have my third attack. I will turn on the next closest one. We'll call that what? B? Uh-huh. With Archibald again for uh, a miss, but I'm feeling so ticked off. I am going to action surge and then come back with booming blade for my action surge attack. And that is a fucking yes, 21 damage. So that is, make sure I do this right. There's two rolls for it. So it's 11 slashing plus. Where's the D8? I need a D8. Plus another 10 thunder damage. And it's got the whole thunder thing around it if it moves. It All takes right. more damage. How, how much total damage to, the, uh, to B? Uh, 10 plus 11, 21. And the 11 was thunder? No, half of it was. 10 of it was. <clears throat> 10 of it was. The 11 was slashing. Got it. Sick. Um... So, mm, 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 mm. Go away, you creepy fucks. Yeah, you're, you, you notice the thunder's not quite as uh, effective as you're used to, which is okay. <gasps> um, are you done, my friend? Yeah, but if that one moves, it'll take 2d8 thunder damage. Or <laughs> maybe half that if it's resistant or whatever. You know, it... Who's to say? Um... <laughs> Uh, the yeah. house quakes again as another log um, crashes. Uh, a, 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 a support beam falls down and bonks one of your um, cl uh, uh, shadow clone jutsus, chum. What happens if uh, uh, a support beam falls on one of your shadow clone jutsus, chum? Um, well, uh, does does it fall on them or do you, well? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. I think they you have to roll to hit them. Okay, I will roll four log. Ooh, log uh, did bad. I'm gonna say a log has a plus one, so a four. That's gonna miss. Okay, uh, uh, but you, they're strike? very they're pretty squishy though. So is if a, you do hit them, <laughs> is that a strike against the house though? Yes. How many yes. strikes against the house do we have? Two. Two. Two? Four Two? left. <laughs> Y'all, we gotta How get that tree. Is the uh, ant's initiative like forty or something? He's throwing like three logs a turn. Uh, seventeen. <laughs> the ant got to go before combat, and that was nice of the ant. And then, um, yeah. All right, chum, you're up, my friend. What up and shit? All right. Uh, I really sucked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting. Is there, there's, there's still, is it one, one banshee or two banshees? Two. Two, 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 two. All right. Two. The banshees have found my one weakness. Loud noises. <laughs> you guys got the banshees? Yeah. Yeah, I got this. All right. Uh, Chum looks out the window, assuming there's a window. Yeah. Uh, and he'd like to, to spy with his eyes the end. Uh, and uh I'm gonna turn you into firewood. And then he casts fireball. Ooh, sexy. Uh 
and he's gonna take. Oh, well, you think he got to do a uh, Dex save for Fireball? Mm-hmm. Oddly enough, Dexy. a huge gargantuan, a huge undead uh, tree is not extremely dexterous. He got a four. Yeah, so he's gonna take a uh, twenty-eight fire damage. Ooh. Okay. Wood doesn't um, like fire, I've been told by that Carpenter. Is true. Um, it's one and of the then few creatures that is, that I've seen recently that are vulnerable. And how far away is this fella? It's about thirty. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Thirty, but 30 feet. When it explodes, it does a huge tree-like scream and is like, uh, <laughs> like the ants when they attack um, Saruman, just like lashing all about. Other brambles are getting lit on fire. It's fucking mad, brother. Oh, shit. Tim, do you remember before we started um, this whole thing and I was, we were talking about me possibly playing a tree character and you were like, yeah, but I don't think you would survive for a fucking second and yeah. ever to... <laughs> Hell! Yeah. Um, and I'd like, to, I'd like to combat roll out of the window <laughs> okay. uh, uh, and run up to the tree um, and then, uh, and how, then how, does, um, how does... How does... um. Uh, opportunity attacks work with your whatever, whatever. Um, well, again, we're not near the Banshees, but... Uh, oh, that's right, because you moved. He went through the window. But you, you can use them as regular if, they, if it's... If it, it, you you, you could have done something at that point. <laughs> oh, gotcha. When I was oh, the first time. That's a good point. You have defeated me. <laughs> <laughs> the Banshees were just like in shock from the three of me appearing yeah that's a that's such a good uh, response of like you should have done that last turn because that's <laughs> a very stereotypical dungeon master thing you, know, you turn it around on me and it hurts uh, so uh the me uh my uh my clone my clone and me uh jump out the window okay um and race toward uh mr ent and i'm gonna uh, hit him with uh What's the what's the name of that one? Is it green? Oh, they blade? Do they just have to do everything you do? Uh, they do. Yeah, they do what I do. Uh, but they don't. Do, they don't hurt like I hurt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> burning cantrip. Yeah. The, uh, what's what's this? What is it, is that the is that the one where you you cloak the sword in green fire and you attack and then a fireball jumps out of it? Uh, yeah, but it's oh like, oh, well, it's... Right, you just stumbled up. That's a, that would be a great lyric in, like, a really sad indie song of, like, you may do what I do, but you don't hurt like I hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new As I Lay Crying song. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, I, I sense that this tree isn't dead yet. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it, not with the flamey one, even though that'll probably do more damage up front. Uh, cause is there, there's only the tree out here, right? It's not, there's not multiple creatures to which my green flame blade could s strike us with its second hit. Correct. Okay. Booming blade it is then. Um, so I, I, I will roll a whack. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's a, what the frick is my attack thing? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> That is a 13. Ah, uh, you roll a whack, but unfortunately, you're unable to get through this creature's thick, uh, uh, um, what's the, uh, uh just almost fossilized, rock-like, um, petrified, petrified wood. wood, thank you so much. Um, uh, so you're, yeah, that is a, as we like to call Whoop. the biz, a miss. Whoop. That's a swing and a miss. All right. Anything else, my friend? Uh, that's that's the turn. That's the turn. Okay. Um, now, uh, uh, Karloff will uh, throw these hands at um, the folks. And whoop. That's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Um, all right, and the one uh, what we like to call as um, Dryad Banshee 2, the uh, uh, wood elf with maggot eyes, uh, uh, explodes in fire as Karloff just goes, like, um, is it Raphael from Soul Calibur? Let me Google that. It, I'm, this is what I need to know it. 
Raphael Soul Caliber. Yes. Is he the fencer? Yeah, the fencer. Um, she goes, pop, 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 pop. It's like fire holes get punch, 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 punch. And uh, Dryad B is now dead as hell. Uh, right? And then uh, Bear punches and misses, which is a shame because he would have done upwards of two damage on <laughs> um, the other. Does he still have holy water in the tank? Could he douse these things with that, maybe? That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we gotta text Cam real quick. <laughs> uh, Nash, my friend, uh, you are up. It's me. Okay. I'm gonna look at the remaining Banshee. I'm gonna look at Karloff, and I'm gonna look at Two Swords and say, uh, hey, bud, I think we can kill this ghost guy. You should help with the big tree outside. Okay. And then I'm going to unleash hell, pawn, pawn the banshee with my halberd. Okay. Um, let me see. No, don't do that. They lock hell. They live here. Oh, unleash yeah. heaven. Did, did you do, because your hexbladed boy is dead. Did that do anything? I got HP from that. So, yeah, when two swords killed that guy, dark shadowy stuff flew into my body and healed me. Epic. Which is lit. Um, first hit is a dirty 20 with the halberd. Hit. Um, and that is six pokey damage. Mm -hmm. Second one is a 25 to hit. Hit. And then that is seven <laughs> damage. Ooh. Quick little ka -ka. Da, da. All right. Yeah. Um, do I have any additional bonus actions that I want to use? Oh, oh shit. I'm an idiot. I, ooh. Tim, what you do? Forgot to make you got the other two of you roll Constitution saving throw. It's okay, Tim. Oh, well, I'm gonna use my, <laughs> I'm gonna use my Eldritch Smite on that second hit. Okay. Um, which As means a, I will use a Warlock spell slot and deal an extra one d8 force damage in addition to another one d8 per level of the spell slot. My spell have... slots are automatically fourth level spell slots. What the fuck? Uh, so you're about to take an additional 5d8 damage. And has oh, Banshee oh. B moved at all? Banshee B is dead. Oh, this so we're down the... to one? Yeah. Yeah, this is the last one. Oh. So you take an additional 23 force damage. Holy. And if the Banshee can be knocked prone, it is prone. I don't know that that works because they float they can... but Yeah, they can't be knocked prone. Yeah, but yeah. Oh! Ah! This one, this is the halfling, and it's just screaming, tossing its head all around, <coughs> and uh, screaming as the mushrooms pop, pop, pop. Um, That's gross, yeah. Is what type of damage is it? It is force damage. Fuck. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just like I do like two kind of like basic hits, but the second one kind of bursts into leaves or feathers. <laughs> Nash uh, has so many mini Florians. He can just so much force damage. Yeah, I'm the Jedi over here in this B. I have <laughs> less so the group chat once today. I will do so again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we... Brett mainly. Did you all know if you're ever in a group chat with Tim, if you and you want him to leave, just start going on a ridiculous uh, Don't do it. Pun, pun rant. Don't do leave. it. I, I will mute you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the uh, the final banshee looks around and says, I won't die today. And does a little scoot. Runs away. It runs away. Well, yeah, because... Didn't you, like, die, like, whenever you died and became a banshee? I shut Are up. banshees undead? Shut up, yes. Bye. And it flies away. Um, Do we get opportunity attacks? I think legally you might. I think uh, legally yeah. you might. Yeah. Me too? I think you both do, actually. <laughs> if you guys have your reactions. Yeah. Reaction. Do Karloff also... 15. What? 15 hits? Carl yeah, it does. probably does, yeah. 55. 11 slashing. Okay. All right, mine is a 26 to hit. That does hit. That hits. Um, ooh, wait a minute. Do I have that? I have Warcaster. I'm going to Booming Blade it. Oh. So 26 to hit still. It but... did. It did. It did. It did. What, what it looked like when you two, all four of you, jump up like a Persona attack. 
um, and just fucking beat this thing's ass as it's running. Can it actually just look like that? Can like the yeah. screen shatter and it's just like a picture of two swords with like a menacing smile? Uh, Nash looking like he's pushing his glasses up. Um, it's like, Karloff, where'd you get those glasses from? <laughs> right, Karloff doing like the like the colon three like cat face, and then bear, and then just like us beating the shit yeah. out of it. You see the, the gnome's ghost head fly out and then Bear go up and grab it and bring it back into the cartoon smoke uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> scrumble. Um, yeah. Guys, I, I, have to, I have to tell you an apology. Um, I, I threw one extra banshee on you, at you on accident. And I want to apologize as someone who is saying, I'm just doing what the book said. They sent two at you. I sent three. And um, I want to apologize. But you guys are handling it so good. All right. You're the same four. <laughs> yeah. You, the you do uh, see more all of my sorcery points. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up, tree monster? Um, uh, two swords. You're up. Yep. All right. I'm gonna click my heels together and take to the air and yeah. fly at the tree. Go right at big tree monster up towards his face and try and do like a flyby slash, okay. kind of like. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. So coming yeah. at him, there goes that d20. I'll get another one. <laughs> 12. I'm assuming that misses. Misses. You I'm still getting the hang of this. Yeah, you're like, uh, yeah you like slowly <laughs> fly upside down. <laughs> 18. Uh, that hits. And, ooh, 25. Yeah, so your first one you hit is like bad, but it's able to like kind of stop your flying and it pulls you like closer to it, and then you're able to like stab better to get through its its petrified wood style. Mm -hmm. Oh, six. Six. armor. Uh, six plus eight. What's six plus eight? Fourteen yes. slashing damage. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. And that will be my turn. Sick. All right. Looking around at all of you, this undead. Um, creature um, will uh, shriek with rage and uh, says to you um, in a, uh, a, a, a horrid voice um, get out of my woods you blight ridden scum rise rise defend your land and um Two of we were the... invited. <laughs> I don't care. Semantics. Uh, you see two of the other similarly shaped uh, bramble trees, you know, with fucking legs sticking out, uh, flowers made entirely of teeth, uh, 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 fingernail petals, um, uh, rip themselves out Shit. of the ground. And now you are facing... That's Ucky. A total of three huge undead tweeds. But, in a good thing, it didn't hit the house. Threats. Huh. Wig? Fire hurt, nice. the, fire hurt them, huh? I don't remember. I just don't mm -hmm. remember. I don't think it maybe. Uh, Chumbawamba, you are up. And they're like all I, around you, let's say, for the, the scent. You know, you, you fly in and then they just <laughs> rip up and it's ah! so they're everywhere, man. It sucks. Yeah, and I used all I used my cool stuff on the thing that didn't do nothing. Um I guess we're gonna are they I mean, how far away are they now from the other ones? It's all about thirty feet. I mean there's not a lot of space here, so within okay. thirty feet. But we're not doing that. You're not in the house, no. One is one of them is spawned kind of closer to the house. You'd call that the danger zone. All right. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna booming blade and uh, probably step back because I don't want to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm boom, boom, booming blading this this dude. Uh... Would you like to die? And that. That's a 19. Uh-oh, Tim left. 
Tim missed my good stuff. Uh, oh, he can hear you. So I got, I got, I roll a nineteen, and if that, that hits, hits, then uh, how do I use the? I have, I have a thing I haven't used yet, so I gotta look it up. I've been. I side that. note, my inventory. I have some very good items that I did not. I forgot about, <laughs> like this necklace of fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you use one, bud. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, booming blade. Do uh, one. Wait, on a hit, normal effects, and then you got booming energy, big boomer energy. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, you're gonna take sword damage. Which what's I? Sorry. What is my sword damage? He's not used to all these spells. I'm not. This is a totally new thing. I, well, I'm used to spells. I'm not used to actually doing attacking things. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. There we go. 1d8. Uh, and then I'm going to also Divine Smite him uh, with my last of my points. Uh, so he's going to take I need you to seven. Tell me. What? Yeah. You need, I need it to be... They are resistant to certain things, so I need you to tell me. I, uh, th- oh, okay. He's going to take seven uh, swords type damage. Slashing. Uh, slashing. Best type of damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, he's going to be sheathed in booming energy. Uh, and if he willingly moves before uh, the start of my next turn, it immediately takes 1d8 thunder damage. Um, and then also that with the smite, he's going to take, uh, where'd my smite go? Divine smite. Another D8. Oh, two, another 2D8. Uh, radiant damage. Which is not great. Four. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. So, uh, and then I step, I step away, uh, to entice him to move. Ooh. Um, okay, Karloff uh, jumps out of the um, the hut and runs towards the closest um, um, tree and does a, a, a stabby again. And it... I have no idea how anything works. Um... Got it. Okay. Pew. That's it? No, that can't be right. Huh. Sorry, Kim, for playing Karloff poorly. <laughs> Somehow, uh, even with a flaming sword, Karloff is unable to do damage to... <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I rolled poorly, and didn't use an efficient attack and that's something we can all respect uh but uh a bear runs up and does a big old fucking punch and i think that's also going to he's not able to get through the tree hide and the tree just kind of like picks him up and shoves him over the ground uh for damn. a god damn it, i did it again no fuck <laughs> you guys aren't <laughs> drinking in that miasma <laughs> i keep forgetting <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Shit. Uh, okay, Nash, you're up. No big deal. Hello, it's me, the Nash. Um, okay. Well. Shit. Um. All right, I'm gonna come outside. Like the the bad bee that I am. East. Uh. So yeah, there's so, like a, a tree kind of close uh, that Karloff and Bear are tussling with. A tree about thirty feet away that uh, Chum and I'm uh, above it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, two swords are fighting with, and then there's one off to the right a little bit that is just now kind of trying to pick which way it's gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go to the one that hasn't been engaged with somebody yet. Sick. Um, and I am going to call that one. Uh, ashy tree C. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and I will. Uh, do, 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 run upon him with my halberd and do halberd damage as hell. Okay. 
Okay. Chaos Kilgore asks, wonder if the DMs ever intentionally plays PCs bad. <laughs> no. Never. <laughs> okay, uh, first attack is hilariously a 14. Miss. You, again, unable to get through. You think you have it, you're going for more precision, but not enough <laughs> force to get through. All right, so this time I put my whole ass into it. Okay. And that's 22 to hit. That you break through. Wig. That will be 11 magical halberd damage. What is that? that it, uh, what type of... Is it, it is... Uh, oh my god. Sl uh, slashing damage. Sick. 11? I didn't recognize the symbol right away. I was like, what does that mean? Um, it yeah. is <laughs> literally a sword damage. Shit. It's yeah, slashing <laughs> damage, but it's magical if it matters. Uh, it does not yeah these these creatures are actually interesting um it has the same resistances but no none of that like unless magical text it's just it's just you're just not who i don't give a fuck if it's magical or not i'm a big tree you're not gonna punch me down or pierce Damn. me um i didn't say anything out loud uh anything else my friend um no that's it sick okay uh uh, uh daddy treant is gonna go and punch Try to punch you two swords. With disadvantage, because I'm nimble. I'm like Peter Pan. No, it's wait. It's, it's big. What? Uh, like the blooming blade what? tree? Yes. Big is he gonna, is, is he moving to do such a thing? No, he has reach. Oh, oh wait, acrobatic. No, but you're still next. I mean, two swords attacked him, so I'm above him though. I'm like by his head. He's huge. <laughs> you, yeah, he is nine <laughs> total <laughs> squares. Tree. <laughs> Me. I'm like. Yeah, if you can reach the tree, it can reach you. Yeah, I like swoop and like. Yeah, he can reach me. I'm just saying it should be hard because he's like going like this. I'm like, how much how much power do you think you could, Tim, if you had to punch something that like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, so you much. Naruto, he knows all about that... attacking things in the air like that. Yeah, it's, uh, more power actually. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> strong in anti air. That is like his thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, does a twenty six hit? Yeah. Does a twenty? But I'm protesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fourteen does not. All right, so you get kerthunked twice as it just claps you, um, like a boog. You take just for fun. You take twenty-seven bludgeoning damage as you get clapped in the air from its handies. Cool. Um, from, from the clap of my ass cheek. <laughs> uh, 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 tree baby A, which, or I guess I would say tree B or tree baby A, depending on your nomenclature, uh, punches at bear once, boop, miss, uh, second time hits, and then hits at Karloff. And that hits. Karloff takes 18 bludgeoning damage. And she is pushed, punched, punched, punched. And Bear, I'm not keeping track of what, so why did I do it? Uh, 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 baby B or Treant C uh, moves a little bit closer to you. Um... And uh, does a punch at you. Um, oops. Holy fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, Nash, does a 28 hit you? It's a, a what? 28. <laughs> 28, yes. All right. This baby is Oof. so friggin' mad that you hurt daddy that it critted you with a 30. And oh, then shit. got a 28. You take a total of... Uh oh 39 damage. Damn, I'm unconscious. As it just oh. takes both of its hands, slams... You, you hear just the loudest crash as you look over and you see the, tr the undead treant just bury Nash as if he was a Yamcha. And... <laughs> Don't yamsh me <laughs> into the ground. Fucking a. Um, 
but that's only because uh, uh, Baby B or Treant C um, critted. So, yeah. All right. Uh, um, bad news. You don't have wings anymore, two swords. <laughs> no, what? Uh oh. Was that yeah. a concentration spell? Yeah. It, but if I don't How high know up that, are you, two swords? I, if I don't know that, if I don't know that, that I still fly. Those are cartoon rules. Yes. Laws. Yeah, as long as I don't look realize. <laughs> as long as I don't look down and realize, like, if you. It's cartoon rules. If you're walking on air, but you don't realize you're walking on air, you walk until you realize you're on air. That's so true. Uh, um, I think if I was close enough to get hit so easily, I would not be that far off the ground because I wanted to swoop up really high out of their reach. Well, but so uh, you did say you were above the tree, though. No, but then since then you could hit me. So. Yeah, it's a big tree. <laughs> yeah, so you would just land on the tree. I just land on the yeah. tree. Then. I land right on the side. The tree has to attack itself to hit you. All right, two swords. Make a dexterity saving throw. Stop hitting yourself, tree. Because yeah. these things are covered in thorns. <laughs> You're in, it's called the bone bramble for a reason. Sorry, Pat. Seventeen. That's good enough for Timmy. Uh, Pat, I think I skipped you. Um, you did. Yep. But but, I, but the good news you. is, all right, because I skipped you, you're still flying. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little retconning. Uh, you're still flying, and but you do gotta make a Constitution saving throw. That's right, friends. I can. No, I mean I'm okay landing on the tree, not flying, and it's, it's my turn not now. Bad. Without damage, mm -hmm. I'm, That's okay. True. I'm okay. The dice is rolled, so I'm yeah, like, yeah, okay. no, I'll, I'll accept like... it. But you, you could theoretically, with a perfect round, save Nash. I oh. think it's possible. It shouldn't change anything. But I just want to give you the chance. Is uh, the but... tree that I was fighting the one that did that to Nash? I have no idea. Um, uh, uh, it's not. But there's other things. Not not important. Not important. Make a DC 13 Constitution saving throw, baby. <sighs> Well, that's 14 plus 8. So. Sick, you're fine. All right. All right, so it, it's now my turn then, and Nash is still, I'm still flying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a flashback. Okay. As you're falling, um, you're thinking about what you did. Like, hmm. And it says six seconds. Oh, okay, cool. Um, are any of the trees in a position where they're within 20 feet of each other? Uh, not as far as I can tell. Okay. The one that did a hurt on my Nash friend, um, I want to pluck one of my beads off my fire necklace that I totally forgot I've had for I don't know how fucking long. You got it like and, yesterday or the day before. Oh, and throw it so it lands 19 feet behind that tree so it okay. only hits that tree and not Nash. Not Nash. Okay, perfect. Uh, and that tree is like a DC uh, what does what 13 kind of, usually. It's 15 it says. 15, ooh. Uh, dex? Yeah. I got a 5. Sweet. Yowza. So that tree is going to take 8d6 fire damage, and I'm just going to use the simulator on D&D &D Beyond. 35 fire damage. Sick. That was actually really easy. I use, like, real dice, but something 8d6, that's a lot. That was way better than my real dice fireball rolls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it screams in terror, and you can see it's mad. So mad that it, it feels like it's going to crit on your friend. Uh, anything else? <laughs> um, I will... Or actions, actions, actions. Yes. Um, I am going to second wind myself and regain some HP here. Sick. Oh, that's wise. Right. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> yeah. the necklace or bead of fireball is really funny because it's like, do you have to like aim it? It's like, no. It, it just is. You just throw it. I don't care yeah. that you're in a very confusing bone bramble. You just, like, just, like, <laughs> <laughs> it just works. With, with like NFL quarterback level accuracy. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Maybe <laughs> with, if it, next campaign we'll add in a little more like, all right. But, you know, we're reading the books. A lot of rules as written. Even if I actually I kind of like the idea of the flavor of the tree trying to swat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it burst <laughs> yeah oh boy okay Is, and that's your turn yeah so to zzz it go forward i'm now like holding on to the head of the i landed on its head okay right yeah i'm yep. not flying and i'm oh it's up to you i was just saying so you don't to make sure that... i kind of i want to be holding like 
on its skull. Like he, the, my hand yeah, is too skull, tree skull. and I'm okay. the tree. Like you, rolled here, a, I'm like, here. you rolled a seventeen. That's that feels yeah. good enough to me. Uh, God, yeah. So God, you you God, you do bead. stab stab stab. No. You or you throw the bead, and then um, you hear as you're like saying ha ha. It screams, and then Nash, just for a little more flavor, not only are you Yamchud, but you're Yamchud by a, a tree that's on fire. Um, so everything that the tree did happened, and now we are on Chum's turn. Chum, you All right, take a big breath, and will... there's a little bit of miasma. Give me a constitution saving throw, please. You keep know what's going. dope about this is Tim, I'm, I'm pretty running sure. away for 30 seconds. Keep going. I'll okay. Back. I'm turning my camera off. I didn't go anywhere. But, okay. All right. Uh, because I had cast the useless spell that was a concentration spell, and I haven't taken damage yet since then, uh, I get advantage on this con save. Sick. Uh, so, that I needed it. <laughs> um, do I, was that a plus? That's a, that's I like the idea plus. that you trick, you, you trick the weather by having so many copies of yourself. 14. <laughs> the weather doesn't know how to... Like, yeah, what? <laughs> uh, yeah. The other clones, like... Put their hands on your mouth or like uh, uh, breathe life into you so that they, you don't get the, the disgusting. The stuff clones are immune to other types of damage other than attacks. <laughs> uh, all right, so you're fine for the miasma. What do you do? There is a flaming boy that just uh, yamchud um, uh, 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 Nash, and then there's a flaming boy that um, Two Swords is hanging off of that you are right next to, as far as all I right. So I. Well, I'm not right next to because I ran away from it to try and get it to booming blade itself. Mm. Uh, so I, just, I would imagine I'm you somewhere. You keep doing this to me. Were you? What were you gonna? You, you're, you're stealing opportunity, opportunity attack attacks me. away from me, which I respect. I respect. <laughs> uh, I'm using the battlefield, Tim. You're being very smart. Um, I am going to uh, see <laughs> my poor Yamchud com uh, companion and look over and say. Looks like someone needs a sensu bean. <laughs> and <laughs> sensu bean. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, all right. So does this play out? Uh, since I'm already somewhere in b the thirty feet in between the trees. Yeah, it's fake. Half movement. G grab my bud. Half movement. Drag him away from the tree. Uh, but uh, in the. In the middle, in the middle zone, uh, I'm, I want to use my powers. So if you want to, uh, I will, I will, I will, I will remember that this exists. If you're dragging your butt away, that will be an opportunity attack. Um, I mean, that's fine. I'm, it might take me out, but uh, you've shadow clones. Fine. Um, what? Use my what? What? You've shadow clones, right? Oh, you have shadow clones. Yeah. So I mean, it might take. There's a. There's a still a slim chance that it ends. Jump. Yeah, but uh, but I'm gonna run up. I'm gonna grab you, um, one hand, uh, you know, around the body, one hand, uh, firmly on the buttock. It's time for some butt magic, friends. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna heal you, uh, for all of my lay on hands, uh, pool uh, for ten, um, oh, sure. and uh, and pull you away from uh that z zone of danger, uh, and uh, yeah, just hand on butt, and it's. Here comes the juice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the tree goes to slam. Uh, 28. So I believe what you have to do. 28? Yeah, these have a plus 10. Um, so they rolled an 18? Jesus Christ. Good for them. 28? What's my AC? It's not that high. You, you have shadow clones. Don't you have to roll? Oh, yeah. So you got a shadow clone yeah. the thing. Um, so let's, there's a, there's a rules. Let me see. How does this work? Each time you roll a D20 to determine whether the attack instead targets one of my duplicates. Uh, so yeah, you should roll a D20. If you get above a six, you're fine. Or six or higher. So yeah. most likely. You're fine. Let's do it. 14. Yeah. Boom, 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 oh, baby. Uh, one of your clones. Smorched. Smorched. <laughs> uh, uh, uh Chaltsu'd as it explodes and missed. <laughs> Am I dead? No, you're not. But uh, one of uh, 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 Chum Bawamba's uh, boys is is a uh, fake. Yeah, whatever. Got popped. Got popped. Uh, anything else, uh, Chum? Um, 
I used all my cool stuff, so I, I'm back to my uh, one action per turn okay. space here. So yeah, that was it. We just all right. I so, saved a life, ran away. Yeah, uh, in my imagining, you, this is like a triangle um, with um, um, treant A, 30 feet from hut, treant B, uh, C, uh, 30 feet from hut, uh, but 30 feet from other treant. So that's the triangle there. But, and then treant B is at the hut, if that makes sense to all of y'all. Uh, mm -hmm. Karloff is at treant B or baby A and does another uh, attack. What's this? Playing a PC as a thing. All right, and um, does a slashy. Ooh, that's good. Um, and does. Okay, so it's one d8 extra on top of the slashy. So, or uh, yeah, yeah, because it's a long sword. So, all right, I roll a d8. I can do this. So that's uh, twelve. Slash damage plus 14 fire damage. So 26 damage on baby A. And then a bear will punch. And that is... Oh, okay. Uh, six damage as it just punches off one of its limbs. So that is their turn. Karloff, make a thing. Oh, they did it. Uh, Nash, you are up, my friend. You're and now you're kind of in the middle, in my brain, of the the triangle o death here, if that makes sense to you. Okay, sounds good. So I got my butt squeezed. I'm gonna snap awake. <laughs> um, as you do. Yeah, I'm gonna like write myself, look at Chum, uh, give him like a tender peck on the face as a thank you, and then I'm gonna look at the original one and be like, that's the problem. And I'm going to shoot two Eldritch Blasts at it. Okay. Um, where are you at? There we go. Boom. First one. 19. Hit. And that will be... This will be... Uh, nine damage. What type? <laughs> what type? What type? Uh, force. Sick. Okay, nine force. damage you said? Yes, nine force damage. And then okay. the next one is 16 to hit. Hit exactly. If it meets, it beats. Boom, and that is ten force damage. Sick. So I'm gonna do like a Street Fighter Guile Sonic Boom with my Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. Um, as you as you're you're blasting it, uh, you're removing more and more of its uh, bark. You're seeing a little more of that um, inner juicy goodness. You start to see a little bit of this kind of glowy undead red. Um, um, uh, uh, spirit to it that's making that's giving life to this treant and 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 such is its curse. You also kind of see uh, inside of it, uh, uh, you see it, a skeleton and it's just like inside of it, not like controlling it, but literally just oh, that's a fun feature of the. <laughs> um, the skeleton the stall. Trees have a skeleton. This no, it looks like it just kind of got. It's a, like maybe you'd say maybe a gnome, maybe a halfling, and it's just kind of like yeah, you see like a a, a oh, tooth shining. Oh, a skeleton of another creature. Inside yeah, of it. it's like kind of like oh, just grown okay. grown around. That's better. That's less disconcerting. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's your turn, Nash. I will not skip two swords. Two swords. All right. So swords. I'm holding on to the thing's head. Can I reach its mouth? Yeah. I I I have a sequence of events I'd like to try, Tim. Let's hear it. <laughs> I would like to. Take another bead of fire necklace, put it in, throw it, shove it in the treant's mouth, push off the back of its head, and then as a reaction, I'm going to cast Feather Fall on myself. Okay. Uh, so putting it in mouth, probably not super hard. but I um, mean, if you want, instead of a DC, you do DC, if you want me to do like a dex? Because I feel so, like... So I feel like you throwing it in mouth is the easy part. The hard part is you is whether or not um, you take damage. Obviously, it's fire, so what do you care? But um, 
the idea is I kind of do it in one motion and I'm like pushing off with my very strong and muscular, powerful legs mm -hmm. to get some distance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of like before it detonates, like it goes like down the throat, whatever you want to do, however you want. That is well, ideally what I would like to try to do. My so favorite thing to Google uh, is mm -hmm. the 5v jump calculator. So I am using my action to cast Featherfall. What is your strength score? Oh my God. What's your strength score? 16. 16. How tall are you? 6'6". Six, six. Your high jump is 6 feet. You can you can grab something that is 15.7 feet off the ground. Without a running start, you can get uh, probably 10 feet or 12 feet away. away. So you're going to have to, using some barely understandable math and uh feather fall that might give you a little extra so you but you're gonna have to make a 17 <clears throat> athletics check that's based off the base 10 and kind of adding in the extra seven more points of feet to get away we're kind of fudging mm -hmm. it here a little bit um and the fact that you're able to even do it is because of feather fall in, in my opinion so uh let's start first with the um, uh, daddy well, tree doing a dex. Well, I just wanted to, yeah, I wanted to see what you would want to do. I'm trying to, okay, I guess I'm going to say I'm going to do it. Yes, it's more interesting. Just in athletics. Then, uh, that's, I think uh, so much of this is, is, will just work. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm, so a 16 plus six. So, okay. So you, yeah, you're fine. So you're able to jump and you cast Featherfall uh, at your zenith and it kind of like, Take, it's like a warlock jump in Destiny 2 or 1-2. Mm -hmm. uh, you cast it right when you have enough uh, uh, mo, and you're able to like kind of like backflip as this explosion happens behind you. Like, mm -hmm. And uh, it got a 10 on its deck save, so go ahead and roll oh, damage yes. for me. <laughs> I do not believe it's possible for you to survive this, but let's find out! Come on, D&D Beyond. It's kind of a cool simulation. It does 29 fire damage during all the days. What does it look like as you explode it? And you can feel free to narrate the entire thing start to finish. Yeah. Okay. So Two Swords is on like the top sort of his body is like behind his head, kind of over the top. And he thinks to maybe hack it at swords, but then he gets an idea. He kind of shimmies around, pops off a fire bead, pops it in the treant's mouth. Like, throw, pops in his mouth and then pushes off with his legs. And he's far enough away at the last second casts. Um, Featherfall himself gives double middle fingers to the treant as it basically erupts from the inside. Its belly explodes with fire. Nice. Disgusting. Uh, all right. So you, when you do that, you do sort of see uh, the other two baby treants collapse or kind of, like, fall over, crash, um... Uh, Bear is going to make an athletics check to see. Okay, first, odds are evens on Nash. What? Uh, 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 evens. He did it. Okay, it's falling away from the house. Um, <laughs> and, uh, okay, it, the, 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 this undead tree explodes, and you sort of see uh, this kind of what looks like, I don't know, let's just call it like a spirit, a, a standard Ghostbuster slash modern movie uh, undead spirit kind of like shoot out from it up into the sky uh, as a beam. And then it kind of uh, just stays there and fires, remains on fire. You see uh, uh, this little bit of a, um, a gnome skeleton uh, still kind of wedged inside the the base of the trunk that is still uh, intact. Would you like to look at it? Uh, all of us or just two swords? I don't, any of you. Any of you. It's, uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, Chama walk over and be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Uh, so you see a, a skeleton wearing a, a kind of a stereotypical witch's hat and clutching um, a, a wand of some sort. Uh, it seems like um, a lot of the fire 
didn't destroy either of these two items. Um, but yeah, it's mostly just um, bones and hat and uh, like you see a little bit of tatters of an old robe. But the hat and the wand seem to have survived the explosion and the years of digestion. Well, I mean, certainly taking these items. <laughs> okay. I, I put on my robe and wizard hat. <laughs> um, All right, you take the items, um, and yeah, you win. Congratulations. You defeated um, an accidentally much more difficult encounter than I planned, but that happens. Uh, <laughs> you uh, give me... Um, Karloff is able to mend some of the damage, but uh, and kind of get things to right. You spend a, like another couple hours uh, cleaning around the area, trying to get it to, to where uh, things were more or less okay before. In that time, Karloff is able to identify the two items that you have just received. One is called a hat of disguise. While wearing this hat, you can use an action to cast disguise self from it at will. The spell ends if the hat is removed. You also Ooh. get a plus one wand of the war mage. While you're holding this wand, you give a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls. In addition, you ignore half cover and make it. I need this wand for Toby. What the fuck? I didn't know this existed. <laughs> you shit. Jesus Christ. That's 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 awesome. Uh, yeah. So, anything else you want to do as you wait for Red Ruth to get back? Uh, uh, Nash will go over and give two swords a big hug and say, "Sorry, I dropped you." Oh man, it's okay. You was like unconscious and stuff, so <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, I'll be better. <laughs> I like creak over to like a chair and may I take a long rest while we, or not long rest, a short rest while we wait for Ruth. Yeah, you definitely have a time for short rest, so. Yeah. All right. Yes, short rest. Thank you. Cool. All yeah, right. You are sh short rest. able to just hang out, even though you do hear strange noises from all about bugs and creatures. It was definitely quiet for a while, but after the battle sounds stopped, more of the uh, spooky bramble, bone bramble sounds come. Uh, yeah, and you, you hang out for another hour or two. Uh, or I don't remember what I, how long I said that she was gone, but she comes back. Red Ruth comes back. Uh, and she says, Wow, that was so good. Come here, come here, everyone. Give me a good sniff. And she kind of, like, lets you... She looks... She, I mean, she looks more or less the same, except for uh, just, like, skin drooping in a, a more healthy way uh fungal growths just looking like a good accessory uh the yellow in her teeth looks to be a little more shiny um her odor smells like a, a um a rotten egg that maybe you would buy at a nice uh, uh specialty store and so instead of just being rotten eggs it's maybe a little bit of uh, peculiar spices maybe some vinegar okay <laughs> Hey, Ruth, you look slightly less odious. Or smell <laughs> odious. Uh, that's what I like to see. I got this special this time. That's some sex stuff, and they rub a little bit of uh, uh, ancient uh, 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 fey uh, crust on you. They won't tell you where they get it, but I'm pretty sure it comes from uh, fey king's uh, crypts that they uh, desecrate. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> I just... The corruption seeps within you and your your dark spirit gets plus D6 happiness from the curses on you. Ooh, I feel great. And she kind of fluffs her hair out and like little bits of uh, <laughs> spores get thrown out uh, uh, of it. And it's like kind of slowly lands on your snoot two swords give me a constitution mm -hmm. saving throw well <laughs> <laughs> it is poison on accident ha 22 all right you're fine Hell yeah. uh okay like, like some kind of fey churro um uh, she says all right all right you you held up your in the bargain in my house's 
not that destroyed, so that's good. So I will offer you. Mm, she rummages in uh, her. Um... Do you have a sword, as Ariel? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, let me see. Let me Google something. Random <laughs> One sword, as Ariel. Potion table five e. Random potion table. I'm clicking on Reddit. Oh hell yeah! Let's see what happens. She offers you. Uh, Alright, I'm going to roll D100. D100! Uh, 12. Alright, you get a potion of stone skin. Here you go! Make you f makes you hard! <laughs> and she winks uh, at you, chum, in case you need it. <laughs> um, on top of that, you uh, are able to... Uh, uh, get a little bit of communion from me. Isn't that nice? That sounds great. I love it. Yeah, dope. You got rid of a lot of these, uh, 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 baddies for me. That makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, you've got some real shitty neighbors. Well, <laughs> that's what you have to do to really liven up your den of sorrow. Why would I want good neighbors? That would make it better. Ooh, gross. I'm a hack. That's true. Property values stay down, then it's a cheaper mortgage or whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm able to help you. You see, in order to get that uh, that friend of yours, uh, the 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 you the Dow out of yes. their their contract, well, you need to go visit my friend Uldrak. He might be able to help, but uh, hmm, he's not quite what he used to be. Um, I believe the blood, uh, the blood of a titan, uh, should be able to help, uh, your, your good friend Ralzala, but, hmm, Uldrak, <laughs> good luck. Does, uh, does Uldrak, like, sell the blood of a titan, or are we gonna have to, like, fresh squeeze blood out of a titan here, like, what kind of... Like a cyclops, like a titan? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Probably oh, that's what remember. they're borrowing from. I remember the Titans. <laughs> she blinks. No. Me. They are mighty. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if, if you have... Uh, give me that map again. Sad right. map. Uh, Here's sad map. Yeah, get, get the sad map out. This guy bumps me out. Get out sad map. Well, whoever one of us has it, we get out sad <laughs> I'm pretty sure it has a name and it told us and I've forgotten it because it's just too depressing. Uh, wouldn't that be before Chum joined us too anyway? We've used the map since Chum's been here. Yeah. Alright, you are in the Bone Brambles which is uh, pretty far to the west. Ping! Oh, I didn't move you there. Boop, boop. Scrolling, our, scrolling, our scrolling. Don Not Sad map hasn't spoken to us in a little while, Tim. It spoke when you got to the, did it speak, when you got to the Bone Brambles. I think it spoke at the Wandering Emporium. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, it only speaks when you get there. So a little bit to the southeast, through a little bit of lava uh, fields, uh, is Uldrak's grave where that giant sword is. Like, oh, go there! I'm sure Uldrak will be able to help you. That's the best way to break a, a pact with, well, an archdevil. Something I simply would never do. <laughs> well, cool. you want to buy anything? You know, I'll be honest, it feels a little like a bait and switch. I mean, thanks for the info, but I thought you were going to help us out with this thing. Uh, oh, I mean... no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all got, you got anything else? How about like, just you give us a po I mean, do you know what we I had to do? You, to keep, you know what we had to do to keep your house in order? No. We had to fight three banshees and three tree monsters. Well, that's why I gave you that potion as a way of saying sorry because I messed up the encounter. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's how not about like one here. for each of us? <laughs> that's not written in how about, here. How about like one for each of us? Absolutely not. No. Three people can't drink I will one sell potion. You, I will sell you a potion for. Uh, one of my basic potions for one soul coin, or one of my better potions for two. 
Or I could cast Commune. And wouldn't you like that, wouldn't you? For three seconds. I don't know. Coins. But Patrick has to go back in 30 seconds. Okay, we can <laughs> maybe, maybe, can maybe with a guest. Yeah. Maybe with a guest, perhaps. <laughs> uh, we're pretty much <laughs> out of time, so that's fine with me. Thank you so but, much, everyone. As uh, uh, I'll be uh, back. Uh, that's cool. Um, uh, we will end it here today uh, for the Happy Hell Hour Presents Descent into Avernus. Uh, you guys have made a powerful ally, um, a neutral <laughs> friend here. Uh, we will give away the uh, uh, book. So, reminder, you can do hashtag space in order to be entered in to win book. Uh, that is Pat's uh, book, Space Tripping. And uh, it's you, very fun. It's very fun. I've read it. I don't normally fuck with space books unless it's a Mass Effect novelization or a Star Wars novelization, but this one I liked a whole lot. Um, can the rest of y'all give me y'all's pluggables, please? Um, yeah. Hello. Uh, my name is Brett, uh, and I'm, I'm playing, playing Chum the Undying Bawamba. And you can follow me on Twitter at Bread Eagles, like the food and the bird. Uh, additionally, just because I still have a few of them left and we brought it up earlier and I forget to pitch it every time I'm on, uh, Charity Water Bottle, that I that is a joke that's kind of like Dune, but it's also from a Star Wars thing we did. And now, canonically, it's from this. Spice Water. Uh, it's a $25 water bottle. Fucking DM me on Twitter. Get one. It's the uh, best water from the Wandering Emporium. It's what you love to drink. It makes you strong. A little bit of demon echo in it. You get strong. Yeah, yeah I'll do, do the voice. voice uh, spice Water. Addictively refreshing. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joshua Bingaman, how about yourself? Hello, it's me, your girl. I'm on the net at Josket pretty much everywhere. That's at J O S K E T H. That's where you can find me. Um, I'm very active on Twitter, posting mess. Um, and, like, you know, it's a great time. Uh, yeah. Where you can find me is also in my Twitter bio. Hello, guest. I have my headphones on, so. She can't hear the naughty words. Okay. Um, I didn't say it. Fi fix that. Uh, 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 Pat, do you want to do any any pluggies? Oh, and um, Josh, we're also on Naruto Revuto together. <laughs> yes, we're on Naruto Revuto together, yes. And that's fun. Did Brett talk about rewatch? I, I, don't I did not. Ah. Well, I do. I mean, I'll let Brett talk about that. Uh, I already, I already did mine. You do. You go. Oh, <laughs> Brett and I have a cool movie podcast called Let's Rewatch. Or we rewatch movies in our youth and see if they're still any good. Um, a lot of the shit we liked as kids is very problematic, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got uh, my book here. Which did you do the raffle, Tim? Uh, it's not closed yet, but uh, okay. I can do uh, that. Space Tripping is, is available in ebook, paper book, and on Audible. Sequel is coming out hopefully around the holidays of this year. My 5e campaign book, The Red Opera. We're doing a Kickstarter September 1st. You can go to theredopera.com to follow the project so you get a notification when the Kickstarter campaign goes live. I can tell you right now, we have got lined up custom dice towers being 3D printed of one of the buildings from the campaign. Custom dice, custom uh, minis from Anvil are custom making us four minis for our four main NPCs. That will be one of the reward tiers. And we're going to do like an a la carte reward system too. So you don't have to like, you're going to basically be able to pick and choose, you know, certain rewards you want. So if you don't, if you only want the minis, you don't want to pay for the dice, you can, you're not locked in, right? Where you have to spend an insane amount of money. So fucking yeah, sick. check it out. Uh, Molotov and this J. Is my, this is Grace, Hello, my co-writer. Co what, yeah, what, what are her plugs? What are her, what are Grace, what do you want to talk about? What projects are you working on? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. The, the yeah project. <laughs> uh, Molotov J, you have won. Um, congrats. I'll message you how to get that. Uh, congratulations. congratulations. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. Cool beans. I want to know what program you use, Brett. <laughs> uh, yeah, as uh, Brother Trebius has posted in the chat, the GeeklyCon digital calendar is now live, so you can check oh. that out. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing stuff on that. <laughs> doing a couple things. 
Uh, I'm doing a, uh, my co-writer of the Red Opera, Rick Hines, who writes for Geek and Sundry and Nerdist, has also DM'd or GM'd over 50 different gaming systems in his time. Um, he's doing a panel uh, called How to Not Suck at Storytelling. And we're going we're gonna, to... But the, the other thing I want everyone to join, if you're not busy on that Sunday morning, come watch Galen and me try to create pizza cereal. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, that is on um, the August 8th and August 9th. I have a couple cool panels, in too. Uh, no Greetings Adventurers tonight. Uh, we're doing it on Thursday this week uh, due to... I, th- I forget why. Uh, but yeah, Good please reason. please download and listen to uh, Naruto Revuto. It's such a good... Uh, show we have a patreon at patreon.com slash naruto revuto where you get tons of extra shit and yeah. discard and stuff like that um listen to dear internet it's a hilarious show i know you'll love it uh yeah. listen to transformation sequence that's uh kim's podcast that she's on love to hate and I th- um, uh, yeah Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next Tuesday for Happy Hell Hour and see you Thursday for um, uh, uh, Greetings Adventurers podcast. And maybe, you know, I'm off all this week. Maybe I'll stream something. I don't freaking know. Um, But we'll see. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.